to see how it looks. Mmm, yeah, beneath his feet. Ooh, it fits perfectly. How cute. I have one to put the DK mask in there. Ooh, the stone you put there in, in there is sparkling so brightly. What's happening? I've been a pretty light show. Is he gonna Voltron and laser eye some people? He's gonna laser eye something. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Hmm. So, today we're discovering the secrets of these weird birth statues. Let's pop their wings a bit. I think the mural said, uh, have them all facing inward. Oh, they did something. Oh, so it's not a laser death trap, it's just a funky looking microphone. It's calling to me. Who the hell discorded me? Okay, uh, I'm back after a quick detour and a bunch of Minecraft crashing frustrations, so... Just looking at this thing. No, no. I couldn't, could I? Oh, I don't think I can help myself. It's like a passion is well up inside my body. Check, check. One, two, one, two. A lot of benevolent, benevolent... Alright, I'm warmed up. Any requests? So you can do the first song from the old Grand Sappy, go for the flow from the River Dude, and the one that we just learned. Let's do the one that we just learned. It really wasn't a good song, it was, it was okay, I mean, it wasn't as good as, uh, uh, Sappy and ha Happy and Sappy. And it's a big bird statue, I mean, holy cow, that thing's got a big mouth. Doesn't mean the ceremony worked, that scholarly implications are staggering. Imagine it, antiquities that lie sleeping, waiting to be awakened by the right performance. I'll certainly need voice lessons, and perhaps a choreographer. And over time, let's go inside. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I was really singing loudly enough to wake an ancient temple? I mean, you... He did say you have mega pipes. My computer freaking legs out. Alright, let's go into the bird mouth. Nothing ever bad happens in bird mouths, right? This totally isn't like the worst area in the game. Ah, ah! So that's why the bird's mouth was gl glowing from the inside. Everything's on fire here! And your paper. You're kinda screwed here. Wait. You know what I just realized? During the song and dance that the mirror taught us, it's kinda like knocking on a fire of elemental's front door. And that means. The fire of elemental might be here, and we might get to meet it. Yay! We get to meet a f giant bird of fire. He's just let me keep talking. How funny of you, Mario! All right, let's head in. I must stay. This fire valley metal business is not my area of expertise. Despite my curiosity, I'm afraid I must sit this one out, as they say. I'm related. 
Have I mentioned that I have a deep and debilitating fear of fire? Oh, Professor, you should have said something earlier. Why don't you just wait here and try not to catch fire while Mario sorts this out? Alright, suit yourself. If you don't want to get burned and potentially scarred for life, fine by me. Oh, I gotta do the path. Okay, Let's see if I remember. You, 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 yay. I didn't get burned to death. And so just spread some of my cherry blossoms around here. I literally like how it's a cherry blossom blooming season where I am. Missed me. You know, Sniper Paragoomba. It's a bunch of midgets! No, no midgets are allowed. I will refuse to let you live. Oh, looks like they aren't going down without a fight. Fine by me. Even they're flaming oil. Die. Oh, he burned himself. Get burninated. Imagine him burninated. Oh god, they're on fire. Them fire midgets. Ah. Okay, last one. Get burn get burned. That's what you get for being fire pay for dudes in a fire temple. Hooray, I need to stop some leg. Give me a sec. Yeah, that should make things a lot better. Yeah, my de-lagging powers worked. And now we get to progress even further into the fire temple. Again, this is like uh, a rock going to a scissor temple. I mean, scissors going to a rock temple. It does not work. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Don't get burned by the chickens. Excuse me, I roast chickens. I don't get roasted by chickens. Gah. Are you kidding me? This guy sucks. I can't avoid him. At least we have to sit on a stone bench. Sheesh, even this bench is burning hot. These are both super alert now, right? Well. I guess I... My... Butt is warm, so of course we're getting ice flower here. Oh, I already oh, hate this. I vividly remember this area from uh, playing this game before, and it is awful. Oh, come on! And you get respawned there? Why? I am gonna rotisserie whatever fire chicken is at the end of this place. The midgets again? Oh, there's a lot of them. Go 
gotta kill these midgets. Mm. On fire. So am I. Okay, we got him. Now there's only a few mages. Oh god, they're doing something. Okay, so these mages have two brain cells. So. Oh, they just suicided me. Sure, that's a strategy. I'm not sure how good of a strategy it is, but I'll take it. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Bird statue. That's a very nice Mr. Bird statue. Get cheese. Oh, come on. That's a lot of bird statues. Just gonna walk across this bridge where they totally aren't gonna fall on. Move, move it. Darn it. Great. Oh, come on. Alright, hold to the left. And then geometry dash this. Oh, they're all falling at the same time. And they all missed. Save. Better have some healing stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go in missing a significant chunk of my health. That's gonna be nice. Fighting what I'm gonna presume is gonna be a fire chicken. Ah, that's a lot of oil. Did you hear that sound? Oh no, it's Moltres. Hi Moltres. Please don't murder me. Ah. All that oil. Shame has to go to waste. America could have really used it. It's the fire family, alright. Look at it burn! It's, but it's not burning up. What an amazing creature! Oh, but the poor things are falling into origami, Mario. We gotta cool it down somehow. Yay, boss fight. Wow, look at this thing. Its wings are huge! Just a bird like that has to be a velamental. It's on fire, totally fitting for a velamental. So, what should we do first, Mario? Not die? To Mr. Moltres over here? I presume I can't jump on it normally because, you know, it's on fire. So let's use some metal boots. Oh, that should just fuse together and that would be good. Did you see that? Its HP went down and it lost those feathers. But it'd be really weak if it lost all those feathers. That's also kind of sad. Yee, that was a lot of damage. Oh, I literally just got rid of a bunch of H HP to burn the board up. Boop. Dealing some okay damage. And that is a pretty good chunk of its health as he fireballs me again. And again, I'm almost dead. 
all the Valley Metals so far are like uh, Pokemon. Like first we have the Earth Valley Metal who looks kind of like Torterra, then the Water Valley Metal who's just Salamence, and now Moltres, who is quite literally just Moltres. Okay, he's getting tired, and he's also running out of feathers. I'm sure, I'm sure one more boot strike and... Okay, it's like almost out of feathers. And I did a ton of damage. One whole feather. Nice. Are you kidding me? Fine. Take the hits. Probably dumb. Oh. That is dumb. Well, thank God for the one up. Ah. That's so close. Imagine if I actually died there. Okay, let's hit him with the Salamence treatment. Alright. Okay. He seems pretty uh, defeathered. You know, chickens are supposed to be. And he still managed to make a fireball. Really? Yes, water puts out fires. Probably need, need to explain that, huh? Thanks, Olivia. Very helpful. Oh, it, however, this venomous fire is out. You might be able to attack it without getting burned. Okay. That makes sense. I'm like half the stuff you say, Olivia. Okay, it's used the thousand fold arms on it. And that should be enough to finish it off. Boop, 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 boop. The joink. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I kind of feel bad, but I really don't. On previous playthroughs, this boss sucks. Like, because if I didn't kill him there, he would regenerate all of his health. And it affects me, I have to redo the entire fight. But if it is, he's dead. Ah, there it is, the fire villain in those fold. Yay, we got the fire bibblefold. Wow, oh, this isn't the most challenging yet, because you gotta be literally on fire. Those wings, the combination of mountain and valley folds, the improbable fire resistance. Well, I think I got the concept down, but can I do it for real? My heart's pounding. Okay, turn to the fire chicken. That is totally how origami works. Hey, Moltres. Okay. Oh. Yep, just fly away. Thanks. And burn Mario up. Mario is now dead. And now they look like they ate Taco Bell. Super special. To be usually the fire doesn't come out of your mouth, it usually comes out your butt, but we don't talk about that. 
That's like we don't talk about what whatever the heck Olivia's doing right now. Oh, it looks like those birdies caught up in the moon in the heat. It's blah, blah, blah. God, ah. Firebird got my tongue. Right. Go, Birdram. Oh, he ate Taco Bell. He, that is the perfect Taco Bell treatment. Perhaps I should take my chances. No, no, a fire temple filled with pitfalls is no place for a professor like me. Ooh, oh, that's gotta hurt. First one guy got Taco Bell and this guy almost got bopped in the head. Professor, we're back! Oh, thank goodness. I was just beginning to question my career choices. We... Uh... I should be dead now. I don't believe this. We met the fire elemental. The giant bird. And I turned into a... And I turned into the bird. Oh, my heart is racing. Is that so? Well, it was very exciting out here, too. Yes, I watched the flames intently. And I swayed quite profusely. Had to ring myself out a few times. In any case, well done, Olivia. Here's hoping your newfound avian affinity proves useful to us. Yay, now we can turn into a firebird. Sounds like a really bad Hunger Games title. Goodbye, giant firebird mouth. I won't be needing you anymore. Let's check out the toad statue. AKA Trophy 69. I also saw this. This guy means something. Ooh, treasure! Pfft, strange rock. It's quite old. It might be an ancient treasure or simply an ancient rock. Either way, I advise you hang on to it. I'll take it. Diamond Jewel. Can we sell this? I'm sure some sniffing at the, the place would really like this. Whew, that's a lot of stairs for you. I mean, thanks for carrying me so often. Do you think we're in this lanky tower's head yet? I'm so confused. This is not what the, he the head should look like. What do you say? To find my eye would be a feat, unless, unless you look around my feet. Right, then. Hey, it's a cute little window here. Where you can see outside, or place a little knick-knack. Should we try putting something in to see how it looks? Mmm, yeah, beneath his feet. Ooh, if it's perfectly, how cute. I have one to put the DK mask in there. Ooh, the stone you put there in, in there is sparkling so brightly. What's happening? I've been a pretty light show. Is he gonna Voltron and... Laser eye some people? He's gonna laser eye something. Bzz oh, he's laser eyeing, eyeing the temple to add a strange glyph to it. Sure. Ack! What is all that shaking? Why did we fall down? What just happened? Hmm. Wait, shouldn't the stairs not work anymore because the whole tower spun? Sure, that's how stairs work. Look at the lanky guy, isn't he? He faced a different direction now? Maybe he just wanted to look at something different. Well, this looks different. Did this something light up? Was this here before? Looks like the light has illuminated part of the design, but what is it? Well, I think with that said, this is it for this episode of Paper Mario Origami King. I will probably do the towers between episodes because they are very boring, but see you next time.